free time, I pull out the vlogging camera. There's some kind of banging, drilling, something going on in the background. Can you hear them? Hello guys, welcome back to Vlogmas episode three. We are on the countdown. Christmas is just around the corner. Finally this year, I'm actually feeling, starting to feel really, really festive. I don't know why I feel like I've just, this year I was feeling really festive, then November went really warm and I was like, whoa, what's going on? And then, I don't know, I was just a bit out of sync with the festivities and I had a lot on with work and the house and everything like that. So I think that was like a stress in the back of my mind, but I feel like I'm getting on top of work. I feel like right around the corner, I mean, within this video, I'm gonna be driving home for Christmas and it is um, gonna be a really nice, wholesome week to two weeks with my family in a nice warm house fire lit Christmas tree because that's another thing we don't have a Christmas tree this year and so I feel like that's let me down I almost kind of in hindsight wish I'd just put like a Christmas tree up in the bedroom because I feel like our bedroom has been like a little sanctuary in and amongst all the renovations like the bedroom and then the basement's been quite nice as well to have that so anyway Life's been a bit hectic. We're finally on the countdown to Christmas. I will be driving home for Christmas within the next couple of days. And I just thought I would pick up the camera here, start the vlog here. And I do have a couple of bits to share with you which could be good Christmas gift ideas for any last minute Larrys out there that still need to get spending. Um, and also my next video on Wednesday will be a more gift ideas so stay tuned for that and also very very budget friendly gift ideas so like super quick easy things to buy on a budget so stay tuned for that as for today though i thought i would start with showing you those bits but before i do i just want to thank today's video sponsor very kindly readly have sponsored today's video i've worked with them numerous times and again it's one of those things that i recommend for gifting to somebody who seems to have everything get them a subscription to readly readly if you don't know is an app that you can download on your phone tablet you can get it on up to five devices for family sharing which has been great for our household and it basically gives you access to over seven thousand different magazines newspapers articles and it's just a great all-rounder app for those of you who like to read magazines and you want great value for money. I will include a screen recording so you can see it a bit better, but let me just show you. There we go, oh, we've gone straight to my favorites. Of course, there's a dog there, Country Life. <laughs> you can just tap on the magazine, scroll through and read. So yeah, it is honestly, amazing. Not only do you have access to some huge branded names, even newspapers, The Independent, The Evening Standard, so some great titles, but they also have archived copies. So if you want to go back and you want to maybe look at some previous season copies of maybe, I don't know, cooking magazines. You can also bookmark and save certain recipes. I quite like to look at interiors magazines and house related stuff for inspiration for the renovations, inspiration for Christmas decorations. And then because you do have access on up to five devices, Tom for instance, he prefers to use really on his uh, iPad. I use my phone more often than not, but he will go through all the like gadgety stuff, the tech magazines. I like more fashion, house, interiors. Yeah, it's suitable for all the family. And what's more, they have very kindly given me an offer to give you guys two months, your first two months completely free of charge. It is cancelling time as well thereafter if you decide it's not for you. If you do, it's 9 99 a month thereafter, which if you think about it, 9 99 for access for that much reading material amazing so yeah i will leave my unique link in the description box which will get you that two months for free all you need to do is click that link happy reading enjoy let me know which is your favorite magazine to read so let me go grab a couple of boxes of things that i want to share with you oh gosh i've got actually quite a bit to share with you because i feel like in between packing up for christmas which i'll obviously do within this video to drive home. I've got loads of like wrapping to do, which I'll do as well. I'll share with you some Christmas wrapping that I've been doing um, and also like more gifts coming in. So anyway, this first box, absolutely 
obsessed with magic linen. I have a few things from them already. I've got our bedding, um, a load of linen bedding from them, and also our waffle throw. We also have the waffle towels. So yeah, I've got lots from them. And then also to show you, I have a package that arrived from B&M. Yes, B&M, but also, after I've shown you these bits, I want to pop into HomeSense. I just need to get a little bit more wrapping paper. And um, yeah, if there are any last minute gifts that I want to get as well, I'll have a look in there. <sighs> so I'll bring you guys with me because who doesn't love a Christmassy HomeSense trip? If there's one thing to do in order to get yourself feel festive, I do think going to HomeSense at Christmas time is the thing to do. Whiz through the B&M bits first just to share with you the things that they've sent me. So these are all stuff that is in store now, B&M stores, um, for gifting. So we have, I've actually really wanted to try one like this, you know, like a crimping one, like mermaid star waves. So this is a triple wave curler from Cosmopolitan. 60, oh wow, 16.99, that's so affordable. Also from Cosmopolitan, this one I can see was seven pounds, now been reduced down to five pounds, a three brush set. This one also has been reduced and i actually love the look of this one this is a mindfulness five piece bath set was 10 pounds half price is now only five pounds hand cream candle hand and body lotion and body wash in the scent refresh which is lemongrass lavender and chamomile and from profusion cosmetics their makeup brand 10 pounds this one you get uh, face lips and eye gift set at eight pounds they've got this l makeup set with a headband, sponge, and six makeup brushes. I'm not gonna lie, this is the one I'm most excited for at 10 pounds. Cadbury's chocolate selection. This milk tray reminds me when we went to, if you saw in my last vlogmas, we went to see Peter K in Manchester. So funny. By the way, I might be going to watch Ricky Gervais tonight. Never been to a comedy show, and then look at me here going to two comedy shows twice in a row. Hopefully we'll get tickets to that because Ricky Gervais is probably our favourite comedian but Peter K was so funny. Um, but then yeah, you get dairy milk, twirl and then some hot chocolates and biscuits. From Revolution, I used to love using Revolution makeup, um, the Cleanse and Hydrate Skincare Trio. You get some sheet masks, oh cranberry, good for Christmas. And then you get a charcoal peel and some purifying charcoal powder. And this retails for £12. And then two more things, again from Revolution, we've got a Contour Heaven limited edition. This one is, let me, let me refer to my, oops, paper, £17 for this. And then last but not least, at just £5, good um, idea for like a secret Santa maybe. I've got a little hot chocolate set and it comes in this cute mug with like a little mug cosy, how adorable. This one comes with luxury marshmallows, a little whisk and your hot chocolate powder. Thank you to b and I'm gonna have to like be extra generous and give out even more gifts this year, although this one's staying with me. And I definitely want to try out those um, curlers as well. Maybe I'll do it in a vlog at some point if I try them out. And then Magic Linen. Oh, I just love it so much. This is a linen, obviously, because they do a lot of linen at Magic Linen. Um, this is Month of Magic Linen Advent Candle. It's got like a little buttonhole here, which you can obviously, if you've got a hook, just hook it up and have it kind of on display as a bit of a decor piece, but also obviously you can fill it and use it. It's just got the branding at the bottom there, the magic linen. 24 squares. Oh, I feel like I've got a um, pet advent calendar for Barney and it's gray. I might switch out next year for this one instead because I absolutely love it. And just pop a little treat or toy in there each day for him. Oh, oh this is what you do, you see, when you have kids. You have fur babies instead. You treat them like humans. Well, at least I do anyway. Okay, and then getting prepped and ready for the future kitchen, which is coming in the new year. Oh, can't wait. Um, I got myself some oven mitts in this gorgeous color. They've got loads of colors, by the way. I just went for the, I think it's called natural linen. I got them. And then I got this as well. It's kind of like a table runner slash long tea towel I guess is how you want to use it. it's just plain again in that natural linen color and then I, I meant to pick up two of these I only think I've ordered one though so I might order another one mind you I've got those other oven mitts but these are one of those kind of smaller ones where you can just like hold a hot pan um I guess 
we probably only need one if you're like holding it by the handle or needing to hold the hot part but then if you're I don't know getting anything out it's got a little hook as well you can just hook it up um or you can have it as like a hot plate stand these will have to wait until next year seems that we don't have a tree this year but look a little set of four linen hanging baubles oh I love them you could even use these as little table place settings as well so you've got a Christmas tree with pom-poms a love heart star and then oh, I think this is my favorite a little mitt i got this i already have one of these and i use it so much that i thought um i would get another one again it makes a good gift idea it's just a natural linen bag just like a shoulder shopping tote bag just for size reference so you can see it's quite big it's quite roomy and um yeah it's such a beautiful color but again if you want a different color they have lots to choose from just super handy to have to be honest they also do stockings again in loads of colors i went for this olive color and again more so than anything as a bit of a decoration i feel like this would look really nice once i've got rid of those creases to have it just kind of hanging somewhere i just i love that color love it these also make such a cute stocking filler gift idea how adorable they are two you get a two set of these like linen bags with lavender in oh they smell so good so you could just pop these in an underwear drawer gym bag even just have it by your pillow at night oh so nice this is actually in that same waffle material that i got our towels and also our throw on our bed which by the way can i just say their throws are huge i mean they fit our super king with excess but yeah it's one of these head towels you know where you kind of flip your hair put it in like this put it in upside down put it all in properly and then have it on your head like so so again another good stocking filler gift idea ah, i've got the button stuck in my hair i don't know why i thought it was a good idea to show you what it looks like on i'm sure you've seen a hair turban before and then i did also pick up one more linen bag these ones i think you can tighten these or maybe not maybe not but they do have some way you can tighten them but this is just a smaller one in black and then something that i didn't know that magic linen now sell is like home decor pieces so i've got a few to show you firstly this set of ceramic spoons they're kind of like irregular in texture and color and i just love them these are great i've got a larger one from zara home and these are good for if you're just serving with like a sauce as a side thing to your dish have a little pinch of seasoning in there however you want to use them or even just for decor purposes just to have them stacked like in a bowl or something on a kitchen side i'm thinking of doing our kitchen with a bit of a shelf along the main long run so hopefully plenty of room to style things up and that's the sort of thing that i would go to for that same with this as well actually this one is like a black wooden bowl slash board that again just kind of stacked leaning against the wall i think will look lovely um but of course again you could use it as a bit of a serving plate and then they also have these three sets of paper mache bowls let me open them i think they're gorgeous there's something that you would expect to see for like a really expensive in like a really posh interiors store so this is what they look like like i say it's a set of three you get black this kind of rustic brownie bronze color which i think is my favorite one and then like an off-white i just think these either stacked like that again on a shelf or something or on top of a coffee table book you could use it as a little key bowl beside your bed loads of uses for these i just like them mainly for styling purposes but yeah i thought i would show you those and then last but not least from magic linen they also do incense sticks which again i didn't realize that they do so um it's like a little tube if i show you of let me see if i can see how many there's five pieces in there but they are thick big incense sticks it smells like spells it says i just love that kind of smokiness to um having incense burning so anyway there are a couple of bits that i wanted to share with you i feel like we should head out maybe grab a coffee go to home sense get out the builder's way if you can hear them drilling downstairs they are cracking on by the way christmas is not slowing them down if anything the fact that we're getting out for a week means that they've got full reign of the house to just get stuff done
that sunshine, guys. I'm just coming into my filming room. Ooh, it is bright. Filming room, bedroom, sorry. Um, I have to share with you the cutest thing that I picked up. This has just arrived, by the way, from Zara Home. Oh, and then the only thing that I did pick up from HomeSense was this candle. Not that I need any more candles, but you know, I also, oh my God, it's just, Possibly one of the most insane candles I have ever smelled. My fit. I actually bought two of them, but one of them was meant to be a gift. Do I keep it or do I gift it? Because I don't want this to end. Well, because it's from HomeSense, I don't know if they're going to do it again, but um, Urban Apothecary Vine Tomato. This scent for in a kitchen to neutralize cooking odors, but actually just as a candle in itself in a kitchen smells insane. In fact, the person that I'm gifting it to for Christmas, I think will really like that. So I am gonna give it to her, but it's gonna pain me because I'm gonna wanna keep both. Um, but yeah, I might actually keep my eyes out for more of these. They retail for 40 pounds, this brand, and they are insane. I've had reed diffusers from them before. They're really, really good, really recommend them. So 19 99 from HomeSense, half price is actually, I'm more than happy to pay that. Anyway, from Zara Home, quite a heavy haul based video this one actually. But you know, it's just me packing up for Christmas. I'm gonna have a full car to take home with me. Oh gosh, where to begin? Okay, so I got a few random bits from Zara. Um, but the first, the thing that, the main thing I wanted to share with you and how cute it was, where is it? I got these two hanging decorations for my mum's, I don't know if she'll put them on her tree because her tree's very neutral, white company style, but, and I kind of want to keep this one for myself, but I got her two hanging baubles. This first one is a Barney. He is a golden retriever with a festive scarf on and a hat. He was $9.99. When I saw that they also did a little Dachshund, which is my brother's dog, um, I thought, you know what, I'm gonna have to pick these both up and maybe give them to my mum and dad, mum and dad, um, as little kind of a little Christmas nod from their grand fur babies, you know? They're actually really well made. I really am tempted to get that golden retriever one myself as well hmm i tell you what if my mum's not a fan then i'll keep that one and my brother and his fiance can have that one i also got some wrapping paper i know i went to home sense full wrapping paper i didn't really find any nice one remembered that i got this one from zara so this one is like it's gorgeous it's a real textured paper if i can show you a bit closer up it's like a cotton texture with tiny little gold stars on like really really small gold stars they had gift bags in this range as well i did just go for the paper though um and then also from gift wrap from the gift wrap section these cute stickers they're very kind of retro 90s kind of like garish christmasy style which i don't know this year i've been loving it's on a roll like this it's an actual thing full of stickers cute right and then what else did i get oh okay these i saw these it's my birthday in january so i'm buying these for myself but also obviously we can reuse these for anyone's birthday or any celebration but they're called it's about a box of celebration candles make a wish and what i loved about these is they're like super skinny can you see oh 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 and they're falling out so i'm gonna be 31 in january i'm gonna try my best to fit 31 candles in a cake and light them because they're super skinny that's kind of the look is to have like a cake just full of candles so yeah i picked those up for myself slash future i think they come with yeah they come with these candle holders as well if i can get one out these little metal candle holders although having said that i think it only comes with 25 of those you see a little beige spike thing that you can just stand in your cake oh i love them they were kind of expensive candles i'm not going to lie but how often do you actually light candles for a celebration cake 
and then even when you do they're not on for very long are they so i feel like we'll get our use out of these and then i got a pair of these acacia wood these were in the black friday sales actually acacia wooded tongs um i've got some black plastic ones i thought i would switch them out for these seeing as though we've got quite a lot of acacia wood ready for our new kitchen in the new year these will make a good little addition to that i think they were literally about four or five pounds and then i got uh what did i get now oh yes the uh, candles obsessed they've got these aromatic candles this one's in the number three winter pine i think the number is the style of the candle and um, they had because they had a big one number four which was also winter pine. It looks kind of like the townhouse style ceramic ones that Jo Malone do. I think this size was 15 pounds, but like I said, they had the larger one, which was maybe like three wicks, I wanna say. Wow, very heavy. <sighs> nice. Not as strong as I thought it would be. I think ever since smelling that vine tomato one, nothing's gonna beat that. But yeah, that's what it looks like. And then I did get one other box. I don't know why this one arrived separately, but let's see what's inside. I just can't remember. Oh, yes. I'm going to have to get all these out next year because I'm packing up to drive to go home now. I'm going to have to save these. But I thought these would look absolutely stunning. They're like vintage aged bells on this jute twine i thought these would look great at the end of the banister when we renovated downstairs this is going to be next year these are all things that i'm going to absolutely love having next year and thank myself in future years i'm going to be like reopening them all again like christmas presents next year when i get around to doing my christmas decorations uh but anyway yeah i think actually i might for new year's day which is a sunday i think that video i might do a bit of an organized reset away decorations and actually clear out previous year's decorations and kind of replace them with these new ones that i'm obsessed with and they're all brand new and fresh and my style but anyway yeah these bells i thought would look great at the end of the banister you know if you've got a garland wrapped around the banister and the staircase to just have these sat on the end maybe with like a big bow as well oh i love them they were 19.99 i want to say they all they look like something i found in like a real antique shop or a thrift shop for like three quid and actually i paid 20 pounds for them but you know i think they called them oxidized bells or something like aged oxidized bells i'll try and leave them linked if i can find them but yeah that's everything that i got from zara that I've just literally got home to this parcel, which was a nice little treat to walk through the door to. Um, pretty unsuccessful at Home Bargains though, Home Bargains, Home Sense. And apart from that, I feel like I might start packing up soon, getting on the road, making my way downtown, making my way home to see my family. I don't know why else I hate packing though. I like unpack. Well, do I like unpacking? No, not really. I always have to make a list. If I've not got a list, I'm not organised now. Freaking out, making sure I've not forgotten anything. Right, I 
think I'm pretty much there. It looks like a lot of stuff though, that's the only thing. I was planning on taking this small case, but I think I'm gonna have to take some other bags as well. Oh, because there's a lot but I just I'm going home for quite a long time so I don't want to have to do washing whilst I'm there so I just want to take enough and also I'm mostly focusing on casual comfy we're not going anywhere like fancy or anything for Christmas day I've got just treating myself to wearing one of my new Abercrombie jumpers either the thicker knit one or the thinner knit depending on what the weather's like. I've also got a spare Neen Bing hoodie and then my travel outfit, another Neen Bing hoodie, um, underwear, leggings, t-shirt, got some more t-shirts here and leggings and then like a comfy loungewear joggers and hoodie set, some PJs, I'm going to take a blanket hoodie with me and some slipper socks. I do just have the one pair of trainers here at the moment but I need to get like my walking boots and uh, what else do I need? I don't need heels or anything. Might just keep it as just these and some boots. Maybe a pair of Uggs as well, actually. Cozy, comfy. Uggs, trainers, and walking boots, and that's all I'll need. Got my makeup, my curlers, tangle teaser. I'll just borrow my mum's hairdryer. I'm going to take my CND um, gel nail kit lamp. And then for the rest of the stuff, I've just got like sacks full of presents to pop in the car as well. So yeah, it's going to... I'm gonna fill up the car, that's for sure. I've got like some more bits here as well of things that I've been given to open for Christmas day as well. So yeah, lots to try and fit in the car and I'm yet to do my toiletries other than makeup. I am still gonna be using my toiletries tonight so I thought I'll just pack them in the morning. Um, and that's it. And then obviously all the dog stuff as well. So like dog food, dog bed, blankets, towels, dog bowl. Yeah, I feel like there's a lot more, but basically like double the amount to think of when you've got a dog as well. Um, but yeah, I thought I would just show you my little packing for my getaway with my family, or well, getaway to my families. And yeah, I will get on the road soon and get my Christmas playlist ready for driving home for Christmas. off my vlog here i hope you've enjoyed this vlogmas three i hope you enjoyed spending these last couple of days with me and weeks with the whole of vlogmas i feel like this is going to be the last of the vlogmas installments because we have christmas next week i have got another video coming on wednesday and then after that i will probably do like a what i got for christmas maybe a bit of a catch up update that kind of thing and then we're into the new year so i will have a video coming new year's day for you guys as well maybe a bit of a reset day to get things going with the new year but for now enjoy christmas i hope you guys have a lovely time celebrating with friends and family or if you don't celebrate i'm still sending you my love and appreciation for all of your support this year and um yeah Thank you so, so much for watching. Thank you, of course, to Readly for very kindly sponsoring today's video. Just a reminder again to make sure to click the link in the description box that I will leave for you guys below, which will get you your first two months completely free. Enjoy, guys, and I will see you all on Wednesday. Bye, guys.